Hello and welcome to this After Effects Light Byte No Frills tutorial answering the question of how I use 8 bit per channel or 16 bit per channel effects in a 32 bit per channel project. And the same can be true for, say, an 8 bit effect in a 16 bit per channel project. Okay, firstly, you need your project, and at the moment, I've got, if I go to my project panel, I can see down here it is an 8 bit per channel project. And if I go to my effects controls, I've got no problems with my card wipe effect which has been applied to this particular layer. If I go back to my project and I hold the Alt key or the Option key and click where it says 8 bits per channel, I change it to 16 bits per channel and if I click one more time, it's now a 32 bit per channel project. The whole project is 32 bits per channel, not just the composition but the whole project. Now if I go back to my effects controls, I've got a little warning here. And the little warning is telling me that this is an 8 bit per channel effect and therefore it's going to be extremely unpredictable on a 32 bit per channel project. But there is a tool within After Effects which allows us to compress our footage before it hits the effect, apply the effect, and then expand the project afterwards. And it's called the HDR Compander. And you'll actually find it under your effects under the Utility section. So if I click in here and start typing HDR, before long I only get two options. It's under Utility HDR Compander, and this is how you apply it. You take it and you apply it to your footage, but you make sure that it is above the actual effect. So I'm going to take card wipe and drop it below, and it says at the moment, note, compress range. So it's going to take the footage that I've got here and compress the range so that the card wipe effect will work on the footage. Then I need another copy of the HDR Compander underneath, but this time we take it from compress to expand. Now, I'm not saying this is the panacea and everything will be absolutely perfect, but by using the HDR Compander before and after, any effects that are not compatible with the bit depth of your project will give you a lot more predictable results and give you something that's going to look pretty okay, although, of course, it'll never be perfect as if it were a real 32-bit per channel effect. I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis, and thank you for watching.